getting warmer. We'll be spending more time outdoors, out mm -hmm. in the sun. And that could mean some serious damage to not only your skin, but also to your hair. So Local 4 Style Editor John Jordan is here with great ways to save your skin and tresses from summer stresses. It, that rhymed. I know. Did you just make that up? No, oh, I can't you lie. Read it. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> so any dermatologist will tell you that you really should wear sunscreen 24/7. I do. 365. Uh, we got to get Jason doing that because mm -hmm. we had a little chat beforehand. But okay. um, people, you know, kind of know. Okay, well, we put that on our skin, but our hair is susceptible to a lot of damage too. So let's start on the top shelf. Okay. I know you and I always like to start there. Yes. Okay, so this stuff is Bumble and Bumble. This is a mm -hmm. sort of high-end salon line. Um, this is from Luigi Bruni in Birmingham, and it's a whole line of, of uh, you know, products, but something that they came out with recently is um, some light botanical oils mm -hmm. and you spray this in your hair regardless of the kind of hair that you have even okay. if you have oily hair okay. um, because they're light dry oil for one thing uh, is a way to sort of counteract uh, excessive oiliness but they have UV protection so I always thought the idea of spraying something in your hair and leaving it in made a lot more sense than putting conditioner on in the shower and then you leave it and then you rinse it all out. Right. So this, you're actually spraying protection on your hair. Right. Okay. Which is super important. So then I went to Target and I found a line called Sunbum hmm. and they make traditional sunscreen, but they also make a product like I just described. So this is one that you spray in your hair. And so you use this as a detangler, okay. as a conditioner. It'll make your hair shiny and it protects your hair from the sun. Okay. Here's a shampoo that does the same thing. Here's one from L'Oreal. So this is actually a shampoo, and I actually tried this out. I was reading about this in the shower of all mm. places, <laughs> and come to find out, it has UV protection. Okay. It's for color-treated hair, but if you think about it, the minute that you leave the salon, especially in the summer, if you get your hair colored, your hair is gonna fade. Every time Absolutely. you wash it, it's going to fade. Absolutely. So you need to do things that will protect your hair. Absolutely, and then what else do we have? Okay, let's move on to skin. We all know that sunscreen is good for our skin, but you can find it in many, many different formats. Why use moisturizer on your face if it doesn't contain sunscreen? I agree. Okay, so here's one from Neutrogena. Here's something that we've talked about before. Uh, this is a body, a BB cream, mm -hmm. and that means beauty balm. And so those are sort of combo products. They, they're moisturizer and color and tint. And, and protect you from the sun, right? Exactly. Okay. Now there's a foundation uh, that is a traditional foundation mm -hmm. with sunscreen in it. Okay. There are lip shades that contain sunscreen. Over on the very end, pure organic coconut oil. Hmm. And that actually has a, a natural SPF of about four, which okay. isn't much, but it's better than nothing. Got you. The key though is to read labels. If it doesn't say SPF mm -hmm. or it doesn't say UV protection, you can't assume that you're getting any protection. That's great advice. And I love especially the stuff about that you mentioned about the hair because I was out in the sun riding bikes and my hair felt like straw after. So we'll give you a recap of all of this later on. We're going to do a Facebook Live, John and I, right after the show. Jason, over to you. Are you doing that on the Live in the D page or the Local 4 page? Live in the D, of course. Live in the D, Facebook Live. <laughs>